What's going on YouTube? It's your homie guy about it. Gonna do a video for new gun owners, uh, new to the uh, concealed carry and all that stuff. And like I said, man, I, I was motivated to do my videos for the black community. And that's what I, that's who I do it for. And uh, if anybody else, you know, black, white, brown, you pick something up from it, you learn something cool. You know, it's all good. And just because I said uh, I, I, I geared my videos to the black community, it's not saying I don't want anybody else watching my videos or whatever. And it's going to be my last time because I'm mainly saying this because I've been getting a lot of negative uh, comments and uh, some hateful shit. You know what I'm saying? Excuse my, my French, but uh, if you don't like it, don't watch my videos. Don't comment. Just keep it strolling. You can give it a thumbs down all I don't like you. You know what I'm saying? Just because I want to do something for my community, don't give you the right to say some negative stuff or whatever it might be. You know what I'm saying? You don't like it? Keep moving, bro. Just keep moving. But anywho, like I said, uh, trying to inform my community, the black community, because I feel like we lack knowledge of it. I was once, and I still don't know everything. I'm still learning. You know what I'm saying? I'm no professional, but I'm learning. So as I learn, I'm giving it back to my community, as I should. But anywho, uh... This video is pretty much just for uh, first-time gun buyers that don't know what caliber they want to go with or what type of gun, it blase, blase, uh, and so on. But, you know, as I like to do, I like to do my EDC, what I'm carrying for the day. So, we're going to go with the watch first. G-Shock Steel. I'm really loving this watch. Got my uncle on. It's on you shirt made by my wife, you know what I'm saying? Loving this. But, uh... Benchmade Griptilian full size. Protec. Flashlight. Turn it around. There we go. 2LX. Uh, Leatherman Skeletal. Y'all know my stuff mostly stays the same. My wallet with the RDF blocking on it. All right, we're going to go into the pockets. Rats tourniquet. I always have a tourniquet, man. And I'm gonna do a video on tourniquets too, man. It's, it's good. It's very, very important that we uh we carry these. Even if you don't carry it on your pocket, somewhere close to you. Zippo lighter. I always carry a lighter. Chapstick, Burt's beeswax. Black bandana today. All right, we're gonna go to my knife that I've been carrying. The TDI by K Bar. Really loving this, man. Really, really loving this. Block 19, Gen 4, Enforced Light. Y'all already know, Trigicon HD sites, my favorite sites. Also, rocking it in the Tier 1 Conceal with the Weapon Light. Uh, attachable, whatever you want to call it, compatible. ETS, Clear Mags. Uh, Y'all, uh, the ammo of choice is the, uh, what is that? Uh... Federal HST, 124 grain plus P. Oh yeah, my belt. Gotta have a good EDC belt. All right, so I've been thinking about this and I wanted to get to it. And uh, before I do it, I forgot to unload my wife's two guns. So I'm gonna unload those. So all the guns will have no magazine in it and you will see it cocked back. So that'll let you guys know there's nothing in there. So I want to break it down into different uh, kind of like categories and whatnot because you got your your revolvers, revolvers, and then you got your semi-automatic hammer fire with you know double action, single action, and then you got your striker fire, you know, semi-automatics, and also you got your sub compact, you got your compact then you got your full size and then you got your single stack too so we're going to start with the smallest first and work our way up so you know you you might not know what you want so you know go to the to a local gun store or if you know somebody that got a few guns you know try to go to the range with them or first of all you know if you never owned a gun you never shot a gun you want to get hold of one that's unloaded you know and learn how to you know learn the functions or whatever so this is a revolver. This is my first revolver that I bought, but it's not the first one I ever shot. My pops got one. He got a 357 Magnum. This is a Taurus. Uh, I want to say it's an M85. 
It's chambered in a 38 special. And this one is capable of doing the plus P. It's a five shot. So when we say revolver, it's, it revolves. Every time, you, as y'all can see, there's nothing in there. But I'm gonna close it up. Every time you shoot it, you can see, in order for the next shot, it revolves around for the next one and the next one. And also, you can do it with single action and it'll get a lighter, it'll be a lighter trigger pull because you see how the trigger is all the way back and then you just got a real light. And now that it's up, this is pretty much double action. So, you know, so that's just being what a revolver would be. And they don't all be this size that, that you got them. This is probably one of the smallest ones. This is a two inch snub nose. And then you got them bigger than that, you know, just as you go. And also the handles will be bigger. And you just got some revolvers that do more than five shots. Most of the ones that are bigger than this, you got six, seven, and I think I seen one that's eight shots. You know what I mean? And uh, and it's different calibers. You got 350, uh, you got 38 special, you got 357, uh, you got uh, 44 Magnum, and it just goes up and up and up, and that big, you know, it gets bigger than that. Anything over 357, I wouldn't consider as a concealed carry. That's just my opinion. Anything over that, that's something you want to take out when you are hunting and all that stuff or, you know, you camping and you want to have something big that'll take a bat down. Anything over 357, that's what I would use that for. All right, next up, we're going to go with the single stack. And this is my wife's carry gun. And this is a Glock 43, chambered in 9mm. And also, like I said, single stack. So it comes with a six round mag, which is two of them. You got six rounds plus one in the chamber. So it's not much difference in weight. Well, this is a little heavier, but in you know size, they're about the same size, but you're gonna get more rounds with this single stack versus a revolver. You got five, this is a five round, and this is six plus one. And also they got mags to do seven plus one, or you can get the base plates to add to it. But me personally, that kind of takes out of buying a gun that small to add up an extension on it. That's just my opinion, because if I want more rounds and I still want to have a small gun, I might not get the slimness, but I'll go to Glock 20, 26. And that's what's going to be next. This is my wife's other ca uh, carry gun, which is a Glock 26. And uh, this is, uh, I'm going to say... Yeah, this is 10 plus one. And what's, what I like about this, if me and my wife together, I'm carrying 19, and I always keep multiple mags for it. So if she got this and I got the 19, she run out of ammo, which she don't care a lot. Well, she may carry a spare mag, sometimes she don't. I'm working on that. I'm trying to get her to carry a spare mag, but my, my goal right now is to get her to you know carry the gun, and that's what she's been doing, so I'm fine with that. So, but if we together, I got the Glock 19, she got this, she need another mag, something happened and you know, she run out, boom, I can toss her one of my, my Glock 17 mags, because that's what I can use for them, uh, Glock 17, boom, she still, you know, can back me up or, or save my life, you know what I mean? And then, we're going to go on up to, in size, okay, now that we went from there, we, I'm going to go to the, uh, the Hammerfire semi-automatic. This is my P CZP07, chambered in 9mm. As you can see, there's nothing in there, no mag. Now, this is hammer fire. At, when I just pulled that trigger, it was in single action. Now, it's in double action. So, the trigger pull is going to be a, a little harder. And it's around 10 pounds. But after you shoot that first shot with a double single action, it remain, it goes back into single action after every shot after that and versus with a revolver you have to pull it back for it to be in single action but with the semi-automatic you know pistol it will uh automatically once it's the slide come back and eject the uh, empty shell and when it goes back up it's going to be like this so it's going to be a lighter trigger pull which is single action and it will be lighter every time versus you see how hard i gotta pull it now versus now that it's, it's back, you see the trigger goes back too. And it's a lot of trigger pull. So it's not very different from uh, a striker fire as far as in learning. It's actually, I actually like it, you know. But only thing about striker fire, you don't have to keep it in your mind, you know, 
it's not it's hard to train with a striker fire because the trigger pull is gonna be the same every single time versus dealing with a double action single action. And they do make some double action single action guns without the hammer. I've seen them, but I, I gotta remember. Uh, I can't remember. I've seen a few, but I think the HKs they got some, but it's still pretty much like a hammer. So I take that back. It still got a hammer because it still it just doesn't have where you can pull it back. It's just automatically like that. And then this is considered a compact. They do have a full size version of it that's about the same length of a, uh, a Glock 17, but this is the compact version. So we're gonna go to uh, just like the 19 I just showed you. This is gonna be the compact striker fire. This is my Glock 23, my favorite gun to carry, my favorite caliber, which is in 40 caliber. And like I said, this is a uh, a compact this one holds with the uh, with the 40 caliber it holds 13 plus one and if you go with the 19 which is the exact same size it is 15 plus one so you know you just have to pick you know what caliber you want and me two rounds is not that big of a difference it's all about shot placement you know what I'm saying so and then this is represent this Glock 23 represents the 19 too so it's just different, uh, you get more rounds with the 19. And my Glock 22 is in 40 caliber, but it represents the 17 too. It's just, you just gotta think about it. If you're looking for a set of nine mil, you're gonna get two more rounds. So this is 15 plus one. So if it's the 17, it's gonna be 17 plus one. And uh, Striker Fire, it's a full size gun. So you gotta think about it. I actually, can carry this concealed now that I have the uh the proper uh not proper but a good holster set up I can carry this concealed in this same uh holster that I just showed you with my 19 is in and conceal it well a few years back before I knew that I needed a good holster and a good belt when I this this is what I used to conceal carry I used to print a, a good little bit because of my frame was small and I used to carry it uh like three slash four o'clock or whatever. So the handle would stick out a little bit. But now that I carry appendix, uh, I can carry this with no problem and conceal it well. And uh, you just have to look into that. Uh, this is my little kind of like helpful video to uh, kind of guide you in which way you want to go. I would say, first off, before you decide your caliber, you want to go with the size gun you ideally want to carry and make sure uh it, it don't have to be the biggest gun it don't matter if it's the smallest you know what I'm saying as long as you carry um find out what's comfortable in your hand first and then you can choose your caliber and uh most of these uh local gun stores i will go to a range that because most ranges sell guns and you can rent a gun so see what selection they got find out what fits your hand good and then after that you can decide what caliber you want to go with most people are probably going to go with the nine mil which is a good caliber to go with for as in uh it's plentiful it's very plentiful and it's it's not that expensive uh the 40 caliber is a little more expensive but to me it really don't bother me uh about the uh prices it's i like i prefer, I prefer 40 cal there's nothing wrong with that i carry now as you see right now I, I put I defend my life on that. You know what I'm saying? Especially in today's time, the, these hollow points that they have for uh, carry ammo, they neck and neck as far as in uh penetration. The wound cavity is still gonna be for the caliber is still gonna be uh a little bigger, but it's not a big difference. It's just I just love for the caliber. I, I mean it's no real big scientific uh excuse. I just love for the caliber. I've been shooting shooting forty when I first got my uh, concealed carry and I just I just stick with it but nothing wrong with nine it's nothing wrong with 40 either either one of them will get the job done and I was just showing you guys that that way you can kind of see which way you want to go and he also made uh, revolvers in nine millimeter too and if I'm not mistaken uh, Smith and Wesson they they, they uh, make revolvers in nine mil so that's a good choice for women or not just women, men. You might have arthritis or whatever. I got carpet tunnel sometimes. My uh, my forearm be aching, man. Squeezing the trigger, shooting, you know, a, a very uh, powerful recoil gun. It aggravates me sometimes, but not often though. But 
that's just something to uh to uh look at and uh decide on what you want to um what you want to go with you know and if you got a uh, buddy that's that's nearby family member that like to shoot go to the range with them and then before you go to the range just get with them and talk to them about the safety of the gun and the functions of it what this make it do what this you know what i'm saying the first rule even though if if they don't tell you i'ma tell you treat every gun like it's loaded especially if it, it didn't come from you if somebody handed you a gun even when you go to the uh to the gun right i mean to a, a gun store if, if somebody give me a revolver this is what i do before i pull the trigger point it somewhere i got to point it to the ground i pop that cylinder out okay cool no rounds in it i can pull the trigger but i'm gonna pull it in a safe direction you know what I'm saying? Same with, with with a handgun. They give me a gun. I drop the mag out. Most of them won't have a mag in there. Drop that mag. Pull it back. Lock it. Okay, there's nothing in there. I'm going to drop it down. And now I can feel get a feel for the trigger in a safe direction. Uh, I must stress, man. Always treat every gun like it's loaded. I don't care if you sit there and watch them. You know, chamber it a few times, rack it a few times, and you see it's unloaded. You still want to get in that habit of treating every gun like it's loaded. You know what I'm saying? And that way, that'll keep it just always. You it'll become a, a habit. You know what I'm saying? You always, if you pick up a gun, you're not gonna point it at nobody. You're gonna point it down or move it around so you can point it up or whatever it may be. And that's just some uh, some little safety tips. And I know you probably heard it before, but that's one thing that I always need to be. Uh, repeat it, you know what I'm saying, regurgitate it. You always need safety, 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 because I had a few friends in high school playing with a gun and uh, shot his best friend in the face, you know what I'm saying, good thing he lived, it went in real, it just went straight out and one side of his cheek out the other. I think it may have knocked the tooth out, but that was about it, you know what I'm saying, he could have been dead or whatever, and that's what, that was in high school, so, you know, that's just a little tip, and especially if you got kids, man, it's best to get that curiosity out of them, show them how to use it safely without ammo in it, take them to the range, and just always preach, don't touch these guns unless I tell you to, or it's emergency, or whatever it may be, you know, but, you know, I always keep my, I got it safe, I keep my guns locked, I only have one loaded gun out at a time, and that's up in a high place where none of the kids can get it, you know what I mean? Uh, but just just wanted to let y'all know, uh, you know, not let you know, but just hopefully help somebody make a decision on what they want to get, and so they'll know the difference between a revolver hammer fire, uh, a semi-automatic hammer fire with the uh, single action, double action, and your semi-automatic striker fires. Now, when it comes to the 1911s, they are either you gonna if you got it cocked and loaded, it's gonna be single action with the safety. There's no no uh, decocker. These have decockers where, where the, for instance, if you want to put one in the chamber, you don't have to let, let the uh, the hammer stay back. You hit the decocker and it put it in a safer mode. So you gotta have a heavier trigger pull. It won't just get you know pulled real easily and you know make a mistake and shoot yourself. And what I like about this for people who love safeties. This, the CZP07 comes with a safety where you can change the decocker out and put it into a safety that way if you want to have it cocked back like this and you push the safety up and it's cool. You know, you, you're good to go. You still got that single action pull and you got your safety up so you still got your level of safety or whatever. And that's all I wanted to uh, say, man. I hope y'all have a good day or had a good day. I kind of went on a little too long. I was trying to keep it under... Uh, 15 but hey it's about 20 minutes man y'all feeling my shirt man i'm feeling this navy blue too man my wife made it for me as y'all already know but uh y'all have a good one man get out there and uh train and if you don't carry a gun yet you need Where to get up? one peace uncle life i forgot to say it at the end of the video <laughs>